What's good with you, man? You watching AGTV, and on this episode, we're breaking the craft nursery rhymes. Now, if y'all happy about this one, y'all excited about this one? Y'all got Alex Patters to thank for this. Big shout out to you for the request. If it wasn't for you, I wouldn't have been on it this early. You know what I'm saying? Now, it's this it's probably not gonna drop till tomorrow, so it probably won't be that early by the time y'all see it. But I'm I'm literally doing this video like minutes after it's dropping. You know what I'm saying? I just ain't got time to really post it, but I got time to at least hurry up and record it real quick. You feel me? So it'll be out tomorrow though. Y'all will see it when it come out, whatever, whatever. But other than that, I ain't really got too much to say, man. It's about to go crazy. This crab, this the duddy money rhythm, everybody been on it. It been going crazy. Me personally, I've been waiting on Crab's version to drop. That's really what I've been waiting on. I feel like everybody been kinda waiting on Crab's version, you know what I'm saying? So other than that, I ain't really got too much to say, man. Let's just get into it. It's already starting off right with the party bus. He calling it the magic school bus, but it's really a party bus. You know what I'm saying? We already saw the girl going round and round. That's what we all wanted to see. You feel me? We all want to see the girls go round and round. We all want to see the party bus. We all want to hear the duddy money rhythm. You feel me? And we all want to see some ass shaking at the end of the day. The song is starting off right now. We ain't seen no ass shaking yet, but I know that's coming. And I know y'all know it too. You feel me? So off rip, the way it sounds, it's already got that bounce to it. It already got that rhythm to let you know it's going to be a hit. The song already a hit because of the beat, you feel me? Like, everybody who been dropping has been doing numbers. I'm going to keep it real. But at the same time, the way Kraft came on here, it, you already know what time it is, man. It got that <clears throat> it got that bounce to it, you feel me? It got that bounce, you feel me? I'm fucking with it, though. I don't know how that song go. That's crazy. I forgot how that song even. That's crazy. The wheel. Oh yeah, the wheels on the bus go round and round. He he didn't sample the nursery rhyme for real. Not sampled it. You feel me? But you know he he took it. You feel me? But it's hard though. I fuck with it though. I go run, I run. Stealing somebody's wife to be and getting twerk from listen. Stealing somebody's wife to be and getting twerk from her is crazy. Pushing a man out of his own wedding and getting twerk from her is crazy. When you was the one marrying them is crazy. You was the one you was the one telling them to say their vows and then turning your back on them and then getting twerk from the one that you was just about to marry to another man is crazy. Completely ridiculous. Crap, what kind of shit you want, bro? Look, she looked all happy and shit, and then look what you decide to do. Oh, maybe he wasn't the one marrying them. I don't know why I got the idea that Kraft was the one having them say their vows. Am I tripping? I don't know. I, maybe I seen that wrong. I see little things. Y'all ain't see that little ass hanging out the window, shaking and shit. Y'all ain't see that. I'm gonna hold on. You see her in the back? Look at my mouse. Look at my mouse. Right here. Yeah, she got her ass hanging out the window. She throwing that bitch. She don't care if she fall out that bitch or nothing. She's 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 risking it all for the for the sake of us. You feel me? Shout out to her. Time. 
That's the part I remember. That's why I was so turned for that part. Because that's the part I heard on a little, um, the little sample they had before this came out. That's the part I remember. The little rookum, rookum, goom, dash. That's all I remember. You feel me? But that little part was the reason why I was hyped for the song. Because that's the part I like the most. You feel me? But that's the only part I had heard at the time. But when it came on, you know, that's the part everybody kind of knows. So I was turned up. You feel me? I didn't really have to explain that, but I wanted to let y'all know. That's why I was so turned up right there. You feel me? That's exactly what. <laughs> I always thought about this, right? Now look at my mouse. Now you see the, you see how she bent over touching her toes, right? Now, um, let's say she had no clothes on and she wanted you to enter that. If y'all catching my drift, you feel me? I could just say it, but like I'm trying to be fun. You know what I'm saying? Interesting tonight, you feel me? If she just wanted me to enter that, you feel what I'm saying? When you hitting it, I, cause I never, I never really hit a girl in this position before. I never had this type. Of, I never did this position before. But if she bent over, touching her toes like this, and she let you fuck from this angle, like how does that feel? But I don't know how to feel about that. It's kind of weird, cause like if you fucking her, she can kind of look up in little areas a nigga shouldn't want a bitch looking in. You feel me? Like she got too much access down there to be looking at other type of shit. She ain't got no business looking at. If y'all get what I'm saying, maybe I don't like that position. Cause if the bitch freaky enough, you know, she gonna be looking at shit. She ain't got no business. She she too far down there. She got a different type of view. Usually niggas like that view where they can look up and see some shit. A bitch should never be able to look up and see. Maybe I don't like that. Maybe I don't like that position. I be like, I had to tell her like, bitch, hey bitch, move your fucking head, bitch. <laughs> like, bitch, move your fucking head. <laughs> Bitch, look up. Fuck wrong with you. Stop looking at me. Look up. Look up. <laughs> look at the ground, bitch. Look at the ground. <laughs> How would y'all feel if y'all seen a bitch with a kid walking down the street throwing that ass? Now, I know this just be music videos, but I put it in real life perspective to let y'all know how I really feel about it. You know what I'm saying? That's just how my brain works. I think about shit in real life. Like, for, for instance, that 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 position I was just telling y'all about, I put it in the real life perspective to where if that really happened, I imagine what it would really be like for the pros and the cons. I'm, I'm, I'm giving y'all the real. Now, let's say if a bitch walking down the street. Now, in the video, it look cool as fuck. But in real life, if you seen a bitch walking down the street throwing that ass, how would y'all would y'all still want to approach her? Now, I'm not saying there's nothing wrong with it because, I mean, she having a good time. She still should have a, be able to have a good time even though she had a kid. But as a man, would you approach that? A bitch throwing that ass with a kid, would you approach that? As a man, would you want to take on that responsibility to deal with her and the child? When she out here throwing her ass like she ain't got no motherfucking kid. Now, I ain't saying you can't throw no motherfucking ass. I, can't say, I ain't going to say you can't throw ass when you, got a kid, when you got a kid. But, you know, usually when you have a kid, it changes the woman. Is y'all approaching the bitch throwing ass when she got a kid, yes or no? That's my only question, bro. Don't ask me if I would just do it. If I would do it, that's not the question I'm asking y'all. Don't, don't try to turn this on me, bro. I'm not saying it's right or wrong. I'm just asking. Run, I run, Y'all approaching a bitch when she throwing that ass with a kid or not? No, I'm just playing. <laughs> I'm just playing. Hey, no, but that was a fun little video though. I rock with it though. I like the um the cadence of it. Like got that bounce, that feel. You feel me? Craft pretty good with his flows and stuff. So I feel like he did his thing on this. You know what I'm saying? I want to go back and I want to listen to all of them again and see who had the best one. Cause I haven't really like thought about that or processed like which one I thought was like my favorite out of the new the new songs that been dropping. And I do want to react to the original too. I've been seeing y'all in the comments asking me to ask to react to the original one. I forgot what it's called, but y'all was telling me to react to some original from back in the day on this beat. So it's probably just called Dirty Money, but I don't know. But um, other than that, 
I ain't really got too much to say, man. Go ahead, like, comment, subscribe. Let me know what I'm react to next. Oh.